Well, first of all, I don't remember what what was your recruiting class like? 2011? Like 2012. 2012. 2012. Do you remember your commitment to UCF? Do you remember uh, how that went? I mean, that was kind of before all this social media stuff. Yeah, it was definitely before the social media, but it was kind of like with Coach with Coach Beck, um, David Kelly uh, at the time was coaching there. They came in hard on me, and I definitely loved the coaching. I love Beck. Still to this day, man. I still talk to Beck on the regular. You were like one of the, you were like the first commitment. Were you one of the first guys in uh, that class? Yeah, it was if me. I remember. It yeah. was me, Taylor Older. Um, I think Uwe was committed at that time. Yeah. A couple of us committed before. I committed before my season. So right? that's that's been ten years ago, right? So what does exactly. it feel now to be? I mean, you're, you're coaching. You you follow these guys, but how's it feel, kind of? Do you feel like the proud, like older brother? What's it like seeing our Brady make a decision today? I feel good, man. Just just to see where he came from. The Brady that he is today, he wasn't there when I first met him, but he definitely put in all the work. I mean, time, like he said, man, all through COVID, we weren't supposed to be training. We weren't supposed to be nothing. I pulled up to his house, he was working, so he was always, always been the kid he is today, man. He's focused, ready to grind, and ready to go. How did you meet him and then it, it was, relationship come together? It was crazy, man. Some, 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 honestly, I thought they were going to give me the microphone and I thought I was going to have to talk. But uh, honestly, man, it was a random dude called my phone. I don't know this dude still to this day. He said I had this guy that played point guard for Lake Mary. Almost took his team to the state championship. And then I was like, he asked me to train his kid to a five-star DB. And I started laughing on the phone like, man, hold on, man. Is this man playing games with me? And I wasn't really training like that. Then I started, I was like, man, let me see what that guy. So I started, I came out here to Lake Mary to see what kind of kid he was. And one the first thing I noticed, man, he, he gave me 110% everything he did. It wasn't right. It wasn't the right breaks and stuff, but everything was full speed. And I knew I could work with that. What makes him different? What makes him special now, years later? Man, special, man. He's still to this day with all these offers he have, he still come and train like he don't got nothing. He still act like it's, like he ain't got no school that could, you know, that recruited him or anything. So like we work out, train, do it all together still. You were kind of part of that team that helped put UCF on the map. You know what I mean? You didn't think about Fiesta Bowl and all that stuff. So what do you think about the program now? I know you're still around and active. Man. Like, what do you think about UCF? The program is, I think it did, uh, you know, we, we did kind of turn it around, but I think it's, they about to turn it all the way around. You know, we did start the, you know, the way we did uh, with the 2013 uh, year. We beat, beat Baylor in, uh, in the Tortito Bowl. You know, with Coach O'Leary, then we ended up getting Coach Frost. Frost ended up coming in. We came off a of 0-12 season. Frost came around with a big turnaround, and then came around went undefeated after that. And, you know, you had the, the other head coach after that come. You know, so I think they they on the right road to make a big turnaround. So how excited are you to roll in the? Oh, I feel like I was right. I was rolling to that what FBC Market Stadium bounce house. How excited are you to roll to the bounce house next year? See Braden playing that Big 12 schedule. Like that's gotta be exciting, right? That's exciting, man. Just to see, just to be back home. You know, to be back in my home where I, you know, scored touchdowns at, you know, called interception and did some, did a lot of things that did not to see someone that I trained up and. I think he definitely going to score some touchdowns and catch some interceptions in there. So you see, I've got a great one. How soon after playing did you know you wanted to get into coaching, training, and stuff like that? Um, after I left Canada, man, I, I ended up going to the Montreal LOS, ended up getting injured, came back. And, you know, I was like, you know, what I'm gonna do? And I was like, man, I'm start training kids, and I start coaching, and I'm now training. Like, I train a lot of kids around here. Who's Who's next? Who's next? Come on. It's a lot, man. It's a lot next, man. It's, um, I got. There's just a lot of talent. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah. of talent, but man, I got a lot this next. But it's a man. The fact that you see up recruiting all those local kids. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's totally different. Um, when well, I came in, man, I probably was the only one from Orlando that committed to UCL. Now to see that we got four or five four-star kids that's committed from Orlando, that's great, man. That's a great opportunity, bro. And I think this might be, go down as one of UCF's best recruiting class. Let's go back to your playing career. What was your favorite moment as a night? Like, what do you think of an announcement 10 years since uh, you kind of started that journey? 
So uh, what do you think about like what's kind of like the, the highlight for you of your? Uh, uh, my highlight had to be definitely um, the Tulane game, man. I won National Player of the Week, Conference Player of the Week. Um, I called an 87 yard pick, and I think it was like a 35 yard. They said it was a pick, fumble, whichever one it was. <laughs> but turnover. I, turnover um, I scored twice that game, had about 10 tackles. You know, so it was that probably my best moment ever at UCF, man. To see, to see that you know I didn't have no family in the stands because I had my son baby shower that same day. Okay. So um, I think I did a great thing. You know, they seen me on the news though th yeah. th that same night. What was it like just being part of that 2013 season? I remember that like, there was games that you guys were about to lose. I mean, I think and, and Stan I, back came out of nowhere. You were on the field, special teams, and you're the guy that recovered the touchdown, right? So exactly. there's so many games like that. Up so the I, and, I think every game, man, every game that year we was in a, 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 a fight. Yeah. It was in a fight. Like, you know, we, and I think, honestly, I think Blake Bloyd is used to just, you know, okay, first half of chill. The second half, I'm turning it on, you know, and that's how it was every game. Every game, um, just the, like the game he was just talking about, you know, was stand back with that and make the big hit. You know, it's just us, you know, practice. We used to practice turnovers before practice, scoop and score and stuff like that. And that's exactly what I did. You know, something that we practiced, we took it to the field. Who are some of your best friends from those years? Like, who do you talk to on, on the team that uh, still to, to this still day? Still to this day. Um, with? Uh, DJ Killen, Earl Clark. Um, I still talk to some of the young bucks. Not, um, talk to uh, Bell, Bell Clark, uh, Bam. Um, Mackenzie. I still talk to a lot of them okay. still to this day. Well, I appreciate it, Drico. I appreciate y'all. Just like man. old times, man. Talking That's to you. Nice time. to see you yes, again, man. man.